Nice car. I love your heated leather seats. Cozy. And look at you and your lovely multifunction steering wheel with cruise control and a Bluetooth phone kit to make your great big business deals with. And your boot. I've never seen such a big one. Loaded with extras, including a complimentary sat-nav, the Passat Highline Plus from £21,345 RRP. Visit Volkswagen.co.uk. I remember when I first began to think of you in that way. Finding the claustrophobia of Sunday cooking smells and his moods overbearing, I set off on a lengthy trek of the district, <laughs> supposedly in search of cigarettes. I walked for quite a time and, as usual, in moments to myself, I began to think of you. I knew he had been seeing you for some time. You would send him letters. Occasionally I would intercept them in the post. Scented secrets surreptitiously slipped into the pocket of my dressing gown. Of course I read them. Who wouldn't? You always wrote on pale blue paper the long, elongated waves of your handwriting sliding across it. Sometimes I hugged those letters to my aching breast, the only clue I had to the anguish we shared, and one which you could now not share with him. My husband likes PG tips at £3 for 160 tea bags. He also likes Aldi Red Label tea at one ninety nine for 160 tea bags. I don't like tea. I like gin. Attained, convicted and condemned Mary might be, yet there was still no official word concerning her execution. But it was said afterwards that on the Sunday the 29th of January, between midnight and one o'clock in the morning, the heavens gave their own portent that the end was not far off. For a great flame of fire illuminated the windows of the Queen's room three times. The light was bright enough to read by, and blinded the guards stationed beneath her chamber, already made nervous and apprehensive by the phenomenon which was seen nowhere else in the castle. This supernatural warning, if warning it was, was certainly borne out by events. Three days later, at her court at Greenwich, Queen Elizabeth at last sent for Davison to bring the warrant for the execution, which for so long had lacked her own signature. Sophie opened the door, and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. Excuse me, said the tiger, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Of course, said Sophie's mummy. Come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Would you like a sandwich? asked Sophie's mum. But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. <coughs> and he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. <laughs> 